welcome to this demo uh, of the RAC uh, plugin. I want to demonstrate uh, how to use this plugin on this quick video. Uh, you can also create your own demo by putting your email on this URL as provided on the landing page. Once you put your email here, like example, at gmail.com, then you create your demo, you'll receive an email with the details for how to log in onto your site. Then you can try it just the same as I'm trying. For now, I'm not going to create a demo because that is a straightforward process. So once you are logged in into your uh, admin panel, you install the plugin and you're going to see uh, WooCommerce needs to be installed and active for the plugin to work. Once you install and activate the plugin, it automatically redirects to the, 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 the settings page. Uh, you don't have to uh, worry about the network because this one I've installed on multiple sites network, but in most cases you're going to see an option to activate or deactivate the plugin. So once you come to the Rack Redirect uh, admin page, uh, we have the options for, we have two main tabs, the global uh, redirect option and the conditional redirect options. Ideally, uh, both of them are mutually exclusive. You can only use either. You can't use both of, or both of them at the same time because to uh, defeat the purpose of having uh, or two uh, options, uh, one global and one conditional. So for the global, if you just want to create a quick redirect, the global uh, redirect tab uh, gives you the option. You, need, you can enable it. You can select a page. You can add, add an external URL. For failed orders, you can add a page. If you want to display, for the case of where you want to display um, the order details after the page, especially for the internal page, for the external, this option will not work because that's an external site. But for the internal uh, pages uh, or posts or products or wherever you want to redirect, if you enable this, you're going to see the order details. Uh, for the products, uh, uh, if for this to work, for either of these options, these either of these options are mutually exclusive. Uh, this one needs to be off for this to work because they are just like it's a global option for all uh, for, for for products and categories. It needs it needs to be off for this to work. For for the products, you can select specific products using these options. Uh, this, uh, once you click on this button, you get the products with the ID and a button here to select. If you check, like, uh, uh, it's just a, a, to, a, a way to quickly select the products you're interested in to create your redirect. Then once you click done, then you should save, then the, uh, the options will be updated. Uh, uh, for the category, the same. And uh, these work the same, uh, they use the same logic both the categories and the product but for future versions if uh, they are request to separate the two we can consider for the purchase history for now we're working with products a user is redirected based on the specific products they have bought before maybe they bought product a and you want to redirect them based on that so that's what the purchase history does uh, for sub order subtotal to enable this first, first you need to put the amount like you can put 200 order subtotal is the total uh, of the order and as the taxes it's on the checkout page you can see it uh, then the logic you need to uh, apply the logic for it to work uh, what are you comparing with are you comparing the order subtotal should be equal to this amount you set here or the order subtotal should be uh, greater than uh, the set amount or less than the set, set amount for the payment method, uh, all the payments methods that are active, uh, if you want to redirect somebody who pays by cash to a specific page, maybe say my account page, that's how it works. The same for maybe direct uh, bank transfer, maybe redirect them to sample page, that's how it's going to work. And these needs to be on and all these others need to be off because these are global options. 
Uh, for the user details, we can redirect either using user roles, like we can say all, if you have a specific uh, user role, a custom user role that is on your site, maybe for members, is going to appear on this list. Then you can say the contributors, we want them to be redirected to the checkout after they complete or whatever the page is supposed to be. Uh, for the specific users, if you have a specific users, maybe who are your repeat customers and you want to give them a special discount or maybe you want to, them to see some page after the redirect, you want them uh, to, to, to see this, to, to, you want to, sorry, you want to select them by their ID, like this is the user ID 3, user ID 1, and sometimes they, they, they come with the name, the, the, the option comes with the name, uh, you're going to see the names for now, I don't know what's up here, but it should show you the names. Uh, the time range, it's supposed to select a specific time range, maybe between uh, when, you're, when you're redirected people for customers for only a specific uh, period. This time range is based on date, so you can select the date if it's between 17th uh, you see now that's that's checked out uh, to 25th. So this redirect will only work between these two dates. You can always come back here if you need to extend it or if you want to pull it off, you just use this button. So basically that's how the global options work. For the conditional options, you mean for conditional options to work, you need to ensure all the, the, the these, these, these global options are off and each global option you need to save to disable it because they are uh, like uh, a single entities on their own by design so uh, this needs to be off for them to, to work. Uh, conditional redirects are based on specific conditions and can be combined in one or two cases. To add a conditional redirect you can use this tab or you can use this button you click on the add redirect rule and the button is by default on because the redirect rule is enabled then you can say redirect product a to b as a title then you can maybe say you can add a description for future reference like add add product a to b after checkout or any kind of description you you you, you feel that suits your your, your redirect uh, uh, option. Then you create the conditions for the redirect. In this case, we want to redirect product. If someone purchases product A, we want to redirect them to we want to redirect them to product B. So you click on uh, add condition. You can select select the product because in this case the redirect is based on the product, not a category. If it was about category payment method, user all, coupon ID, we would, we would use those other options. But for now, we are just going to use the product. So we want anybody buying product A goes to product B. So this needs to be include, includes. If it's the opposite logic, you use excludes. But this needs to be included by default. It's, it's, it includes then we select the product we want to create a condition for so we want anybody buying product a goes to to uh, is redirected to product b we can add now the the the, uh, the the redirect action in this case we want the product if it was a page you would go with the page and select the page if it was a post we'd go with the post select a post and so on and so on if it's an external url you just do the same but in this case we need to use uh, to redirect to a specific product. You want to redirect this person once they buy product A, they go to product B. So we select product B. And maybe the same case applies to a failed order, or maybe the failed order should redirect to some other product. In that case, in future, we can extend this logic depending on a uh, user's request. If you want this to only occur during specific times, like, uh, uh, during a specific uh, date, you need to enable this, select the date, the start date, and the end date. It's going to work within those dates, but for now, we don't need that. We don't need to use uh, time-based redirect. So once you have your rule uh, created, you need to, 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 to save the changes.
and uh, once you, change, you save the changes, uh, automatically that redirect rule will be created. In future, you can always uh, come and disable this redirect. You see now the re redirect rule has been created. You can delete it, you can edit it, you can do uh, whatever you need to do with it. If you have several options, you can sort them, you can sort the conditions, you can sort the actions, and so on and so forth. You can also de delete, you can disable you by selecting multiple select uh, venue or, or single select to enable disable. Now it's the time for the rubber to meet the road. We go to the front end and test it. So on the front end, uh, this is the initial place to create uh, your demo. This is the home page where you're going to create a demo to test it. But now we need to go to the shop page. On the shop page, we need to purchase product A. We see if it redirects to product B. So we click on add to cart. We check out. And we proceed. Put the name, I put um, put the company name, you can put some fictitious address, you can put some error B or whatever. If you can get rid of this, we can put some fictitious email. Just testing things. We can uh, subscribe. We all want to subscribe. For the test, I uh, for the test we need to have. Uh, we need to put this number. We can put a fictitious number. So for the test, I, 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 I the demo sites for for plants. The the page is simple. You don't need to fill all these details. So once you place the order. Product A redirects to product B, so the rule works. The contrary is uh, uh, is true, uh, so that's basically how to redirect uh, products. You can edit this rule and use a category. User all. You can use a category, select a category. You can use a coupon. Select a couple. If there are couples, if there are couples, you can create them to test. You can use a user role, or maybe it's a customer. You want to be redirect specific people. You want to redirect it to that role or to that page. Uh, you can use country that is based on geolocation. You can select the country, maybe Algeria or uh, Bahamas or whichever country you feel. Uh, it's also possible to have multiple rules together, like country. Uh, is Bahamas product is product C and the user role is uh, or the shipping method is some sh shipping method or maybe like the user role is is uh, a unique user or maybe a customer or whatever so those conditions will apply for this rule you can also use different like pages you can redirect to a page you can redirect to a post and so on and so forth. So basically, that's how this plugin works. Uh, it's still work in progress. I thank you for your support, and I'm working very hard to make it uh, better. I want to add more functionality like uh, custom page, a thank you page builder, and possibly uh, I'm going to make it into a bigger uh, product, but one step at a time. Thank you for your time, and you can send me your feedback uh, through my site. I'll appreciate. Thank you once again.